three, two, one. Wow, I look really out of it. Well, I'm in the computer room again. I get to talk this time. Because no one is here. This video is brought to you by Cherry Cough Drops. Assured is the company name. Soothes sore throats. Temporarily relieves coughs. Menthol. 30 drops. Sounds like 30 drops of acid. I've never done acid in my life. I've never had any desire to. My nose itches. Dang it. Uh, I've had a slight cold. Uh, from drinking alcohol. It's uh, caused a lot of phlegm. Cranberry grape. Delcia Farms. Naturally and artificially flavored juice beverage. And a blend with one other juice from concentrate. That's funny. <laughs> and a blend with one other juice. But they don't tell you what that juice is on the front. 70% vitamin C. Daily blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. I'm a big fan of the Howard Stern show. What's funny is that the stuff he talked about in the 90s, you can barely talk about on YouTube. It's becoming so censored and made for kids. It's no fun for me anymore. This video also brought to you by Barton Charcoal Filtered Vodka. Product of the USA. That's important to mention. 100% Neutral spirits distilled from grain. That's the real stuff. I like to, to drink uh, straight vodka. It tastes good to me. I have an acquired taste for it. What's unfortunate is they don't sell gin at the Maverick gas station store. All right. So this coat keeps me warm. My camera pouch. The zipper. The lighting is too bright. It's too much of the cold light. There's a trick with neon light bulbs, the long tube ones. You put in one warm and one cold and it balances it out. I can tell just by how the camera is picking up the light that they don't have the warm neon light bulbs in. It's just all cold light. So it looks like it's winter time in here. Back to this again. Just so you know, it is cranberry grape juice, but there's Mickey's ale poured in. What I learned from Howard Stern is you don't have to fill up every second with a word. You can allow breathing space. 
and I've thought about this a lot over the years. Paul Cezanne, the painter, did the same thing where he left breathing space in his paintings, sometimes the white of the canvas. So I don't have to fill in every second of every minute with a word. I can allow breathing space. That allows people in the audience to just think about what I say. Give them some breathing room. That's how I like it as a listener. I don't like people shoving crap onto me. Constantly. Dude, give me a break. So, something that happened five minutes ago before I turn on the video is a woman came in with short blonde hair wearing gray yoga pants and she went over to the desk. She walked in through the door, went to the desk by the door, bent over. How can I do this? So, bent over and grabbed something. So, there's a big monitor there. So, all I see is, like, this curvy ass thing. I'm just like, oh, my God. Okay. But I think she's married with a kid. So, her business is none of my business. Another thing I like about Howard Stern is he just talked about anything he wanted to talk about. Are words incorrect? Are we allowed to talk about anything we want to? Freedom of speech in this country really means the freedom to shut up. Ah. So I have a cold right now. Ah. Ugh. It hurts because it's been irritated. Ugh. It's the same thing that the last seven presidents have done to me. They've just irritated me. So stupid. All right. My final thought for the night on that is it doesn't matter who is the president of this country. My life doesn't change. It doesn't matter who's in there. I'm still going to be poor and down and out. So from my perspective, it doesn't matter. An interesting question to me is, uh, would Hillary Clinton have been a good president? It's kind of creepy thinking that Bill Clinton would have been in the White House again. But would Hillary Clinton have been a good president? I don't know. Huh. I think she would have been under attack constantly. And she has an agenda. There were certain things she wanted to accomplish. Which were just her personal things. And my 
experience with Donald Trump. He was never really into politics. Always business and money. So it amazed me that he even got into the running of being elected. I don't care about politics all that much. It's not a subject that interests me much. It's just a circus sideshow. Mostly, I'll agree with a statement that I heard many years ago that people who go into politics are not really good enough looking to go into acting or Hollywood. <laughs> it's just a circus to me. God damn, my nose really itches. So let's say Howard Stern was a YouTube user. Sounds like a drug addict. Anyway, and he's broadcasting his program from 1992, for example. Now, would that content that now that was on terrestrial radio? Would that content make it onto YouTube? Like, would they ban some of his material just for talking about things? I think so. And he also had uh, his Howard TV, which actually showed nudity from time to time. Now, as a YouTube user, you can't put that stuff on YouTube. But, there are people who upload that stuff onto YouTube. But, since no one complains about it, it's still on YouTube. You, I mean, I've looked in the last year. I mean, there's nudity on YouTube through uh, some of the Howard Stern videos that people have... Uh, downloaded and uh, put up on YouTube and YouTube doesn't do a thing though so, as a YouTube user if I had a naked woman standing right here they would ban the video <laughs> but because Howard's show was on cable television and it's stolen content. Howard doesn't want it on YouTube anyway. But the last time I checked, it was still up on YouTube. And... And women are uh, having orgasms. And that's on YouTube. If you look hard enough for it. Ooh, I said the word hard. What does that mean? Cheers. So I think YouTube is making a mistake when they cater to children and parents. Because they were not thinking at that point. Let's see. My goodness. I think they just want to make money like Disney. Or artists sacrificed and thinking is thrown out the window. They're trying to please the status quo to make a buck. And people like me get hurt. Because YouTube used to be a forum for creativity. And now it's just nothing. <laughs> there used to be a lot of creative videos on YouTube. It used to be fun. Remember two girls, one cup? When they took that video down, 
YouTube changed. You don't have to like the video, but it was the artist right to make it and put it up somewhere. You can still watch it. It's a great challenging video and should be taught in every art and film school. Bic Lighter works every time. I'm not kidding. Bic Lighters are the best. They've always been the best. They work better than any other lighter. This is an unpaid announcement. <laughs> and there's a nice lion on this lighter. Bic Lighters are the best. I'm doing free advertising for companies that I identify or like for whatever reason. Uh, I don't get paid for this shit. I don't make much money off my art. I do from time to time. So let's see. The only reason why I'm making a 16, 17 minute video is so that I can have advertising on my videos. And let's say if my video makes $200, then YouTube will take $100 and I'll take $100. Wow, what a great deal, YouTube. Thanks. It's like making a deal with the devil. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to start my own video sharing network for people 18 and over. And I'm just done with the kids crap. The Disney filth. <laughs> and just catering to four-year-olds who don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. So... Um, I need to find someone where we can um, start up a YouTube kind of channel. But it's only 18 and over. And it'll be um, just like YouTube was in the beginning, where you could just put up anything. But it will really be for people 18 and over. And... Uh, You'll be able to do anything you want. Anything. Even transgressive art videos. I didn't say that it had to be porn, but if people wanted to put porn up, they could. But I'm interested in subversive activity as an artist. So... <laughs> well, I'll just leave it at that. Cheers to Bill Murray. Who else do I like today? Big Mama Cass. Paul Schroeder. Alec Guinness. And uh, let's see. Uh, what other fucker do I like? Charles Bukowski! Alright. Fuck you all. Thanks for watching. Um, just, uh, one more thing. Uh, after this video is up for one week, I'll be lucky to have gotten five hits. Hey, channel building. I've been on YouTube since 2008. <coughs> I'm still trying to get some hits, so. 
Anything you can do to help my channel. There's lots of good stuff that I've done and lots of crappy stuff that people don't understand. So, just post that shit in places. I need help. Also, if you want to give me money, it's paypal.me slash David Lovins. I could use a couple bucks. My latest thing is I need an oil change on my van. And uh, we'll get more into fundraising later. So, thanks for watching. I've hung in there and I'm still alive. So, um, if you want to kill yourself, don't do it. Just keep watching my videos. And then I'll talk about suicide prevention. I'm still here. Look, if you're alive and above ground, just stay alive. Look, you'll get laid eventually. Don't worry about it.